Along with bicycles, household robots, all the other stuff I make my videos on, I am a huge Polaroid nut. So I want to introduce a new segment, and this is one where I'm going to talk about Polaroid cameras. Just kind of give some brief overviews. Maybe in the future we'll get out, take some shots with them. I decided to do this segment because I ran into some other cyclists today, and somehow we got into Polaroid. Turns out they're into Polaroid, so that got me thinking. I bet a lot of fellow cyclists are also Polaroid fans. Now, I've been a Polaroid fan before it was cool to be a Polaroid fan. I was there, well, all my childhood, but when Polaroid announced they were going to quit making the film, and I went over three states and bought up probably $1,000, $1,500 worth of film. Right as I was running out, I was there when the Impossible Project saved Polaroid film. If you don't know what the Impossible Project is, you can look it up at their URL, but this is their first flush. This was their first go at trying to make new Polaroid film. I kept one box still sealed up. And I mean, I was there back when this was the best you could do. That was the first flush films when just nothing looked great. I was so thrilled to get this one. This was probably about the third flush. I was there through the years where you took great shots only to have them fade because they just didn't store, but now they make great, great pictures. As a matter of fact, these pictures were made with this camera, which we'll talk about in just a second, but uh, this thing's been all over the world with me. Europe, uh, this, as a matter of fact, this photo here is the Love Locks Bridge, the Lover's Bridge from over in Paris. I was there right before they took all the locks off because it was weighing down the bridge. Managed to get this picture. It's been to London with me, to Quebec, I mean, just all over all over the world really French Antilles uh, but this is a Polaroid SX70 land camera this particular one is one that was actually refurbished by the impossible project not didn't buy it new from them I purchased it from the person that had purchased it from the impossible project but SX 70s if you don't know they collapse down and you just pop them up and this one you can see how good a shape this camera is in. Stainless steel is still great. It's a little fingerprinty. And uh, you can tell that I've actually taken it to Europe and to the Fringe Antilles and all over the place. Just a few little scuffs here and there. But I mean, look at the good. Obviously, they re-leathered it, but I mean, it had to have started out in good shape. The bellows are perfect. And I'm not going to drop the front nose so we can see the date on this, but I believe this one was from 1972, I believe. Um, because I actually have film in this. We'll go out later in another video and maybe take some pictures with this while we're biking around, try to get some good shots. But I'll just periodically go over some of my cameras. As I mentioned, I have about 50 of them, you know, Prontos, SX70s, 600s, all the good stuff. So uh, hope you enjoy the new Polaroid segments as they come along. I'll mix them in with all my bikes and robots and all the other stuff. So let me know if you're a Polaroid fan. If you are, Share with me some of your pictures. Matter of fact, I'll put a link down in the bottom of this video. I have a Flickr account uh, that, now I haven't uploaded anything to it in a couple of, well, probably since I came back from the last time in France. But I have plenty, probably 100 or 200 new photos that I'll upload to it soon. But I'll put a link to that down in the description. You can take a look at some of my Polaroid films, especially like to see these before they faded. They actually looked really, really good. But now the new stuff doesn't fade, so have no fear. Buy from the Impossible Project, so pick yourself up a Polaroid. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.